when you think about it, future is the only thing that can be created. Everything else is created already. So it is actually a, a driving force. Call it curiosity, call it hope, that gets you things done that never have been done before. That was the idea of the Transformer. Coming home. Coming home. Coming home. Coming home. The drones that we fly, we call them spaxels, the space pixels. It was really trying to achieve a 3D display. As soon as you call them drones, um, people immediately think dangerous, but it, it isn't really. It, it can be beautiful. Ars Electronica is concentrating on the intersection of art, technology, and our society. So really focusing on the future of our society by the means of uh, artistic use of technologies. When Intel came and said, what about doing 100 drones? Oh, you know, nobody did it yet. Nobody even tried it. It was just like, you know, yes, yes, let's go for it. For the setup tomorrow morning, uh, it's quite important, I think, to first get an idea of where the airfields are before we start setting up the tents. And then the idea is to go directly into a 100 drones uh, test flight. It's a team of 15 people. We have four pilots and four airfields with 25 drones each. So each pilot is communicating with the crew on his respective airfield. Taking off. We developed our own ground control software. It's an animation software that needs uh, to have quite a powerful machine uh, running it. The spexels are challenging because it's really hard to sketch something in 3D. You want to create something that amazes people, that people like, and that's probably something new they haven't seen before. We're just taking technology and making art out of it. The reason why we decided to do Drone 100 is because we wanted to push the future of technology. You need to find somebody to push you across the borders, really. And this is what we found in Intel. It's not just like the technology that is there, but what's more important is actually the driving force that is behind that company and that visionary power. We're working with different aviation entities around the world to understand what the policies are, the rules and regulations, and make sure that drones are safe and we can have light shows like this. I think it's, it's very important to, to show people that it's not always the drones that look at you. Sometimes it's the drones that you should be looking at. Tonight, we're gonna have 100 drones up in the sky, synced up with the orchestra. We're gonna show an audience something a little bit different, and it's all happening in Tarnesh Airport near Hamburg. No matter what, it's gonna be incredible. I can't describe it. It's years of efforts, development, and hope exploding in one minute, uh, in this one moment of excitement. Everybody ready? All drones switched on. Humanity is curious, and humanity is equipped with hope. But that driving force is in all of us. 
And that makes us doing things that are just like, one would say crazy probably, others would say astonishing. Oh. <laughs> so good.